Good morning children, how are you? With me again, Mr. Milian here to discuss about unity in diversity. Okay, the topic here is unity in Indonesian cultural diversity into the framework Bineka Tunggal Ika is talking about the cultural diversity in Bineka Tunggal Ika. What is unity? Unity, according to Cambridge Dictionary and Oxford Dictionary, is the state of being joined together as whole. That means everybody in here is one, is not talking about just one ethnic. Alright, meaning of diversity. Diversity is a condition in society where there are differences in various fields, especially ethnicity, nation, race, religion, ideology, and pluralistic society culture. Unity in diversity. The motto came from Japanese poem of Sutasoma book that was written by Bhutan Tulang. Bineka Tunggalika Bineka means different, Tunggal means one, Ika means it. It is different, yet it is one. So Bineka Tunggal Ika is the unity in diversity in Indonesia. It is written under the Garuda Pancasila symbol. What can unite us? Well, we are united by Pancasila the 1945 Indonesian Constitution and Bineka Tunggal Ika. Also, we are united by national symbol of Garuda Pancasila, the red and white flag, and the national anthem of Indonesia Raya. Pancasila. First, we know the five principles of Pancasila. First, there is belief in the Almighty God that we have a symbol as a star second a just and civilized humanity in the symbol of chain the unity of indonesia in the symbol of banyan tree the citizen led by collective wisdom in representation symbolized by a bull hat and then social justice for all people of indonesia symbolized by rice and cotton so in here there are five principles of Pancasila written in Bahasa okay now the factors the factors that causes the diversity of Indonesian society are first the strategic location of Indonesian territory second the condition of archipelagic country the third is different natural condition and the fourth is the state of transportation and communication first the strategic of location of indonesian territory indonesians indonesia's territory is between two continents and two ocean two continents which is pacific ocean uh, which is australia and uh, Asian continent I mean and then the second one is the Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean condition of Indonesia as an archipelago state photos of the Indonesian archipelago for example the islands of Sumatra Kalimantan and Sulawesi here are the map of Sumatra the map of Sulawesi and the map of Kalimantan differences in natural condition photos of people in the mountains in Indonesia and then from the Tengal people in the Bromo mountains and the people in the Kapuas river and then urban communities in uh, Jakarta we can see in here Urban means people who live in the big cities. And there are 
uh, transportation and communication. First, the photo of public transportations in the seawater and the photos of urban public transportation and the photos of public telephones in Indonesia and smartphones which is we can see now uh, public telephones in Indonesia are uh, rare to find so most of the people in urban city are now using smartphones or internet they can also use as communication and then Indonesia's diversity the diversity of Indonesia states the existence of unity of differences this unity is a specific characteristic for Indonesian people and cannot be changed by anyone diversity of Indonesia states the existence of a unity of differences a unity means a collection of various components that form a unity a unit unity is the result of an association that becomes one unity means merging of the various kinds of diverse styles into unified whole and then harmonious mutually reinforcing and respected differences the principles of unity in diversity of trade tribes religions race between groups the principle of unity in diversity of Indonesia consists of first unity in diversity Unica Tungalika, and then Indonesian nationalism and then responsible freedom and the Indonesian archipelago and the horizon and then un united development united development to realize the ideals to reform Bineka Tungalika unity in diversity through Bineka Tungalika the Indonesian people recognize that Indonesia is a nation consisting of various tribes races religions languages customs however differences and diversity are not separators and tools to divide the sense of unity and brotherhood Indonesian archipelago in the national main idea of the Indonesian nation that is believed to be true by all the people so that there is no misdirection and deviation in efforts to achieve and realize national ideals and goals the types of diversity first the ethnic groups second the customs and then the third is religions the tribes in, in indonesia we can uh, divide into many tribes but uh, there are examples for uh, tribes in indonesia such as batak bataknis japanese sundanese sasak malay and dayak and we can uh, there's other tribes which, which which cannot be mentioned cultural diversity the diverse customs in indonesia can be seen from the diversity of cultures such as traditional clothes cultural houses folk songs local songs and musical instrument According to Professor Kunchara Ningrat, tribes are a group of people who are bound by awareness and identity that have a distinctive cultural style. It also consists of many tribes, as an example, Malayu tribes from Sumatra, Daya Kenya tribe of Kalimantan, Mentawai tribe of Sumatra. Okay. 
here are examples of traditional clothes. This is called enclosed dress from Sumatra. This is called Ta'a and Sepe Sapak from Kalimantan. This is Daya Kenya traditional clothes. We can we can see this one as uh, I mean these are ta, called Ta'a and Sape Sapak from Kalimantan. Okay, and these are Daya Kenya traditional clothes. This is called these are called Sikere and Pangurejat. Sikere used as a hat and Pangurejat used as a dress. This is Mentawai tribe. These are Mentawai tribes traditional clothes from Sumatra. This is a public acceptance of the culture. This is the photos of the other Bedouin and the inner Bedouin communities. Let's tolerance to others. This is a civic quiz. Okay, children, now we have a quiz. Guess the location of these traditional clothes. Okay. These traditional clothes come from Java Island. Okay, civic squeeze. Where this do do where do these clothes come from? These clothes come from can you guess? Okay, I give you several seconds. Right. Batanese Bataknis from North Sumatra. This is called Bataknis from Sumatra. We call this one Ulos. Religious diversity. There are six religions recognized by the government in Indonesia, including Islam, Protestant Christianity, Catholic, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Confucianism. Confucianism. These six religions are regulated in Tap Empire Number no. One, slash 1965, and Law Number no. Five, slash 1969. These are the percentages of the followers in Indonesia. We can see Islam has 87%, Protestant Catholic has 6.9% followers, Christianity, Christianity has 6.9% followers, Catholic has 2.9%, Hindus around 1.7% Buddhist around 0.7% Confucianism around 0.05% okay quiz time what is the name of this picture can you guess children Islam it is called Mox what is the name of these pictures can you guess it children Alright, this is a temple of Confucius, we call that one, the follower of the Confucians prayed worship here. And the third one, what is the name of these pictures? The name of these pictures is called the house of worship known as church. Church, the followers of the Protestant Christian religions worship here. Islam entered Indonesia around 7 or 8 century century to traders from Arabia and Persia. Islam continues to grow until now. It has become a belief held by the majority of Indonesian population. The holy book is Al-Quran. The prophet's name is Prophet Muhammad S-A-W and the God is Allah S-A-W-T. We can uh, mention in Arabic as 
and the meaning is glorious and exalted is he and the holy day is at our feet and at all the other and hijri new year and isra Mirage. the place of the worship is called mass the protestant christian christianity is first appeared in the netherlands in the 16th century which has influenced by the Calvinism and the Lutheran teaching. Protestant Christianity, Christianity is also entered with the invaders in the Gospel mission. The Holy Bible is the Bible, and uh, I mean the Holy Scripture is the Bible, and the God is Jesus Christ. And the Holy Day is Christmas, Good Friday, Ascension of Jesus Christ, and Easter. Place of the worship is called Church. Catholicism is first, first appeared in the Maluku Islands. This religion was brought by the Portuguese Indonesia, who at that time to look for spices. And the people of Maluku also become the first follower of the Catholic religion in Indonesia. The Holy Scripture is called Bible, the God Jesus Christ. And then the Holy Day, Christmas, Good Friday, Ascension of Jesus Christ, Easter. The place of worship is Catholic Church. Hinduism. Hindus first enter Indonesia through the trade routes. The Chinese and Indians brought Hinduism estimated at the beginning of the 4th century, marked by the establishment of the Kutai and Tarumanagara kingdoms. Hinduism is one of the oldest religions in Indonesia. The scriptures is Vedas. The God is sung young with you, Wasa, or the Divine Order. He holy this Nyepi and Saraswati Pagalwesi, place of worship temple. Buddhism is also the oldest religion in Indonesia. Buddhists enter in the 5th century AD. It can be seen from the inscription that were found. It is thought that Buddha has brought the tra by a traveler. Asian who came from China. This religion is also developed by many Buddhist kingdoms such as Sri Vijaya. In fact, Sri Vijaya became the center of the development Buddhism in Southeast Asia until 1377. The scripture is Tripitaka. was written by Siddhartha Gautama the god is Buddha holy days Vesa Ashada Katina we call that one place of worship is Vihara okay the effect of unity in diversity we have positive impact the national integration is created. The second one is to develop inter-ethnic religious culture group relationships. So they have a strong uh, integration. So every people in Indonesia becoming one without asking their religion, without asking their uh, background. So and then can enrich the cultural treasures of the nation. It means that if we have a creative economy that being submitted by Indonesian people and then to be promoted to other nations to other countries which which can see us as one of the richest country in the cultures negative impact the occurrence of the conflict society 
and then the emergence of a view that was brought from childhood and then we call that one primordial the third one is the emergence of the ethnocentrism it means that the view that that tells us to to say that one group is better than the other is the best from all of the groups or we call that one the superior to others the excessive fanatism assumes that one's beliefs are right and others are wrong okay children that's all for unity in diversity topic today let's meet up again in the next appointment bye bye